Welcome to Intro to AP Computer Science for New AP Teachers. This topic is Using Objects Part 2. So in this video we'll be taking a look at uh, reviewing class structure, reviewing instantiation, public versus private. This is where we switch from using public uh, attributes to private attributes. And if they're private, that means we can't access them outside of that class. So we need to use mutator methods, which are called setters, and accessor methods, which are called getters. And then, of course, the perennial question students will give you is, well, why? And we'll talk about some reasons why you might want to do it this way rather than just doing it what is kind of the easier way, which is making everything public. And then a little bit of an introductory exercise, similar to some of the stuff that we've done previously. So first I would just review the class structure, you know, class, class name, list of attributes, uh, basically it's, you know, public, you know, data type, name, equals, and the default value. And again, they should be used to this. Hopefully you've been doing this you know, all along in, in the various units and just kind of reinforcing this idea as we go along. Uh, and then review instantiation. So where we've, you know, we created the class, we've compiled it, we create some objects. So it's class, object name equals new class and again those of you familiar this is obviously we calls the constructor we'll talk about that in another unit uh, again I, I tend to leave some things out uh, when I teach this course uh, until they actually need it <laughs> so I'm really trying to scaffold this a lot better than I have in the past um, especially students new to coding job is very complex and I did I'm just trying to get here's what you need right now to learn this particular concept without too much extraneous information uh, and then we were setting values just directly. So object name dot attribute equals value. Now we can do that because they were declared as public, but now we're gonna declare them as private. Uh, so we're not gonna be able to do that. So public versus private. Um, it is against object oriented programming principles and AP rules to use public attributes. On um, the AP will take off points for uh, using public attributes. So that's one thing they definitely look for. So make sure that the students switch from now on, never use public uh, for attributes. They should all be private. Um, and then when we access them, we instead need to use the public methods, which are called setters and getters. I'm going to get to the next couple slides. So setters, these are also referred to as mutator methods because mutate means to change. And Consequently, setters allow us to change the value of an attribute. So there's two kind of standard ways of doing that. You'll see public void set attribute type, for example, new attribute, um, and then you say attribute equals new attribute. So this would be like set name, new name, name equals new name. Um, this is one way of doing it. Uh, again, it doesn't have to be you know, new attribute. I just, I do this because it's very, very clear. You'll see a lot of times, let's, for example, if it's set attribute, like set name, you'll see type N and then attribute equals, or name equals N. I personally don't like that. Um, I really emphasize to the students that uh, variable names should be extremely clear. Uh, I shouldn't have to guess the tiniest bit what a variable is. So what's N? Is that a number? Is it, you know, it's just, keeps things uh, very, very clear. Uh, the personal, the method that I prefer to do is public void set attribute type attribute, this dot attribute equals attribute. So set name, type name, this dot name equals name. Uh, one of the reasons I prefer this uh, is A, it's just very clear, but B is for my students coming from Python, in Python we use self, and self and this are basically equivalent. So it's a little bit easier for them to adjust to this style. And so that's how we set values. Now, if we actually want to access them, access our methods, get those values out and do something with them, uh, we use a getter and they allow us to access the value of an attribute. So it's public type get attribute return attribute or public type get attribute return this dot attribute. So for example, public string get name return name public uh, string get name return this dot name so again I'm really really picky about naming and I just make sure the students do everything exactly consistently over and over again so there's no ambiguity now students will probably ask you why bother um, by nature students tend to be a little bit lazy and this seems like a lot of extra work for no real benefit 
And so just kind of tell them that some values should remain hidden uh, for security reasons with getters in the case of getters. So sometimes we don't want someone outside that class to know. So for example, maybe like you could think of like a social security number or some sort of identification uh, that we don't want to share with another program. So the idea is to keep that data secure. The other reason for setters is that it allows for validation. The example I give in my ebook is let's say you know, we somehow incorrect information gets sent. So what's your age? And somebody enters negative 53. And so in our setter, we could say, well, if the age is greater than or equal to zero, you know, this dot age equals age, otherwise print, you know, system out print line, error. Um, so basically make sure that we avoid an incorrect range of values. Uh, and that keeps our data, you know, secure and consistent. Uh, so the introductory exercise is similar to what we've done in the past. So ask the students to choose a famous person, uh, or it could be somebody in class, it doesn't really matter, or just, you know, they can choose whomever. Uh, describe that person, and then Google that person. Okay, so determine which info can be known just by looking. So for example, hair color, eye color, height. So th that would be what we consider public information. Anybody can get that information just by looking. Um, that's kind of the analogy I use. Otherwise, it'd be something private. So for example, blood type, um, birthday, you know, that sort of thing. You can't know somebody's birthday unless you ask them. You wouldn't know somebody's blood type unless you ask them. And I use blood type because I live in Asia, in Japan specifically, and that's kind of, it's a big thing here. Uh, it's kind of like zodiac signs uh, back in the US. So um, yeah, so the public versus private. So there's some information that we know just by looking, but some information that we have to ask a person. So there we go. We've reviewed the class structure. We reviewed instantiation. Talked about the difference between public versus private. Uh, we talked about the two types of methods: the setters, the getters, and talked about you know some reasons why the students would want to use this, and beyond just the fact that the AP requires it to be used. And then had a hopefully a helpful introductory exercise to illustrate the concept. So thanks for watching. Take care.